Hello, I'm Lou Bloomfield and I'm Professor of Physics at the University of Virginia. I'm here to explain the importance of social distancing during this COVID-19 pandemic. While I'm not a public health scientist or a microbiologist, I do know about exponential growth. It happens whenever the amount of something tomorrow is the amount of that something today multiplied by a factor that's greater than one. When I was a kid, I loved puzzles, so my dad offered me one. He asked me which would I rather have, a thousand dollars now or a penny doubled every day for a month. By doubled, he meant that tomorrow I'd have twice as many pennies as I had today and repeat that doubling every day for a month. $1,000 sounded pretty good to me, but it wasn't the best option. If I started with one penny on the first day, I'd have two pennies on the second day, four pennies on the third day, and so on. After a week, I'd have 64 pennies. After two weeks, I'd have more than 8,000. And after 30 days, I'd have half a billion pennies, or about $5 million. Exponential growth is a big deal, both in finance and in a pandemic. At present, each person with COVID-19 transmits coronavirus to an average of about two or three people. With such a large multiplying factor, we have rapid exponential growth. Because it takes about five days for COVID-19 to develop, the cases are doubling every two or three days. If there are 100 cases today, there will be 200 cases in a couple days and 1,000 cases in a little over a week. In a month, there will be almost a million cases. Not good. What can be done about this situation? Reduce the transmission rate through serious social distancing. Don't give the virus to other people. The fewer people each sick person exposes to coronavirus, the lower the transmission rate and the smaller the multiplying factor. Instead of the cases doubling every two or three days, they might double only every week, every two weeks, or maybe they would stop doubling altogether. China and South Korea have managed to lower the transmission rate for COVID-19 below one. Statistically, each sick person transmits the virus to less than one other person. Those countries are now experiencing not exponential growth, but exponential decay. The number of new cases is decreasing every day. If my dad had offered me even a billion pennies halved every day for 30 days, it would have been a lousy choice. I'd have ended up with only a penny or two at the end. That's what we want to see for COVID-19. We want the cases to decrease daily, weekly, monthly until there are almost none left. To achieve that goal, we all need to act because we're all part of a big statistical experiment, a vast human enterprise. With regard to others, we all need to act as if we might have COVID-19 and do what we can not to infect them. Every positive action we take as individuals has a statistical probability of decreasing the overall transmission rate and thus the multiplier factor for all of society. Correspondingly, every careless action statistically increases that multiplier factor. If we don't know we have COVID-19, we must still be careful. If we know we have it or have been exposed to coronavirus, we must be particularly vigilant about transmission to reduce the multiplier factor. Don't count on others to keep you safe. Do your part too. In the end, not getting COVID-19 is wonderful for you, but not giving COVID-19 to anyone else is wonderful for all humanity. From a statistical point of view, every time you keep your distance from others during this crisis, you are saving lives.